Hey guys, Smelling Roses here. Today we're back out in the Jefferson National Forest. We're in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Bedford County, Virginia. And today we're going to be hiking Terrapin Mountain. You can kind of make out through the trees there the ridge line of Terrapin Mountain. Terrapin Mountain is just east of Thunder Ridge on the Blue Ridge Parkway. You can see right now we are hiking this uh, forest road, fire road. We have to hike down this road or up this road I should say about a quarter of a mile, maybe half a mile. And that's where we will pick up the Terrapin Mountain Trail. Alright guys, so we have reached the actual trailhead for the Terrapin Mountain Trail and we're going to continue straight ahead, continue up the ridge there and you can see according to this sign it's three miles to the summit. You can make an entire loop of it and return from here. I'm not sure the exact mileage of the loop but I believe it's uh, maybe 14, 15 miles, perhaps longer. And the vast majority is this fire road that leads to Reed Creek. Some of you guys may remember that I have been on Terrapin Mountain before. However, this is the first time I am accessing the trail from this trailhead. There is a, another trailhead approximately four miles in this direction up at Camping Ridge. And I accessed Terrapin Mountain Trail from that trailhead once before and hiked up to the summit of the mountain. And today, hopefully, we're going to make it to the summit from this trailhead. So come along, let's go check it out. I'm not doing much filming on the way up. I mentioned before, this trail is very steep. And there are no switchbacks. It basically is just going straight up the ridge. The trail is not difficult to follow, but you can tell that it's not used very much. This is a relatively unknown trail and not heavily used. Alright, so I've climbed a considerable distance, but we still have quite a ways to go to reach the top of the ridge. And uh, it's not easy, guys. This is a tough climb. But we will be rewarded with some spectacular views when we get to the top. This trail is relentless. I'm a little bit out of shape. I haven't done as much hiking as I normally do recently, but this is a tough trail. And uh, let me show you what we got coming up. <laughs> Look at that, guys. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but that's almost straight up right there. No switchbacks in sight. So it looks like more challenging climb to come, but there's only one way to get there, and it's not standing here. So let's go get it, guys. Basically, the trail is going to continue in this direction, and we're still, as you can see, we still have a lot to climb, but we're going to be following the spine of the ridge now. And we should get some good overlooks along the way. Alright guys, check it out. We made it to our first really nice overlook. Check it out. It's a bit windy. This is what it's all about, guys. This right here is why you slug it out on those tough climbs, and this is your reward. We've got a spectacular view here, looking towards, that's Camping Ridge up towards Apple Orchard Mountain, and this is Thunder Ridge. Right there you have High Cock Knob. And way off in the distance there, shrouded in clouds, is Big Rocky Road and Bluff Mountain. That's sort of back towards the James River water gap in that direction. But 
Those clouds over there on Thunder Ridge are laying a shadow on the mountain at the moment, so I don't think you can see it. But if you can make out the cut of a road right down through there, that is actually the Blue Ridge Parkway. Alright guys, so we left that awesome overlook. I'm sure you guys enjoyed the views. I know I certainly did. We're going to continue uh, climbing along the ridge here and head on towards the summit. But let me show you guys. Yep, more steep climbing. Just continuing here along the spine of the ridge, making our way towards the summit. Have to go over several little knobs. We just came over one and there's another one ahead. And then the summit is actually just over there in that direction. We've got excellent views off of the mountain to both sides of the ridge. guys so we're just continuing along the ridge and we're about to make our final ascent up to the summit of the mountain the high point of Terrapin Mountain is just up there so we'll be there shortly check out those awesome boulders there very cool all right guys we made it Welcome to the summit of Terrapin Mountain. This is the high point of the mountain here. I guess technically the top of those rocks would be the high point of Terrapin Mountain. You can see it's a very small area here forming the, the summit. And we are now at 3,506 feet above sea level. And bear in mind that we started out around 1,000 feet, so that's significant elevation gain on this hike. And according to the map, we have come three and a half miles from where I left the truck to the summit. So that gives you an idea of how steep this mountain is. Significant elevation gain in three and a half miles. Uh, that would be over 2,500 feet of elevation gain in three and a half miles. You guys have seen this overlook before on the first trip I made up here to Terrapin Mountain. Quite a while back now though. You can get good views to the south and east from this spot. And it's quite windy at times, so we'll bear with the wind noise. Awesome spot here. This view is looking to the east and south, back towards the Piedmont of Southern Virginia. I don't think you guys can make it out in the video, way off there in the distance. That's uh, Smith Mountain. You guys have seen that on my channel before. Looking back towards the Blue Ridge, you can see a massive cloud front moving in and the tops of the ridges shrouded in clouds. That's Camping Ridge right there. And as we look towards the south, Normally you can get a great view of flat top and sharp top mountains, head foremost mountain, onion mountain, all right in a line right here. But they are shrouded in clouds today. Likewise, Apple Orchard Mountain right up there with the big FAA radar dome on the top. 
can't see it, it's covered in clouds. Still an awesome view here though. So that's looking back up towards the summit area of Terrapin Mountain. And the trail we've been following, the Terrapin Mountain Trail, continues along the ridge. And down there there's another parking and another trailhead access at Camping Ridge. And that's where I accessed the trail on my previous visit. And then from there you can actually continue along some forest roads and it will descend down there by Reed Creek. So you can see those clouds are rolling in very quickly along with some powerful winds. Alright guys, so I'm just going to backtrack the same trail, same way I came up. Got about three and a half miles to get back to my vehicle. Thanks for coming along on the hike. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I appreciate all your views and support. Please be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment down below. I always enjoy interacting with you guys. So if anything interesting happens on the way down, I'll be sure to bring you guys back online. Otherwise, uh, I'm just going to enjoy my hike back down the mountain. Thanks again for coming along, guys, and I'll see you on the trail.